So we're now on part 4 of our video lesson in our first lesson for module 1. So we have non-assurance services. So what are these non-assurance services and why are they called as non-assurance services? So primarily, these are non-assurance services because these lack one or more of the elements of the assurance engagements. Okay, can you still recall the five elements of the assurance engagements okay what is the first one okay three-party relationship how about number two what is number two okay that's right subject matter the third one we have the suitable criteria and number four what is it Okay, sufficient appropriate evidence. And the last one, of course, there should be an assurance report. So any of those elements when these are lacking or they are lacking, so that type of service or engagement will be called as a non-assurance service. Examples, we have agreed upon procedures, compilation some tax services and then management consulting and other advisory services so what are these agreed upon procedures so the auditor is engaged to carry out those procedures of an audit nature to which the auditor and the entity and any appropriate third parties have agreed and to report on factual findings so as the term suggests the procedures are agreed upon gisabutan okay so the recipients of the report must form their own conclusions from the report by the auditor and the report is restricted to those parties that have agreed to the procedures to be performed since others unaware of the reasons for the procedures may min misinterpret the results second one is compilation so this is performed by the accountant wherein he is engaged to use accounting expertise to collect, classify, and summarize financial information. So the procedures employed are not designed to enable the accountant to express any assurance on the financial information, but only to perform the uh, services such as the collection, classifying, and summarizing of information. However, we can say that the quality of the results or the quality of the uh, service that is provided by the accountant is high because the accountant's involvement here uh, is accompanied with professional skill and due care, okay? And then you have other tax services such as preparation of tax returns, tax consulting, and representations of clients to tax authorities. Then we also have management consulting and other advisory services. So management consulting is the is refers to both the industry and practice of helping organizations improve their performance primarily through the thorough analysis of existing business problems and development of plans for improvement so what are the services that can be offered with uh with advisory we have small business management, cash management, compensation plan, evaluations, growth planning, purchasing or selling a business, measuring business performance, and even disaster recovery plan. Okay. So what are the missing parts or missing elements in these types of services? For agreed upon, there's no conclusion expressed the same in compilation. In some tax services and management consultancy, there's only two parties involved and some tax services these are non-assurance if tax reports are prepared with no ex conclusions expressed okay it's that that is with a d okay so that wraps up lesson one okay thank you for watching and stay tuned for the other lesson videos of our next lessons okay have a great day